Hello and welcome to a training topic session. Today's topic will be talking about deleting records and data for a RedCat project. So some of these key points would be common ways to delete records, common ways to delete data, and deleting data by accident, and what would we would do if that were to happen. So now that we're looking at our project, let's make sure that we have the user rights to start deleting records. Simply go to Applications User Rights. And scroll on over to the right, we would see that we have Delete Records checked off for our username. You can also edit user privileges and look under Settings pertaining to project records and see that Delete Records is checked. All right, let's start with deleting a record individually. We can go to Record Status Dashboard or Add an Edit Record. So let's start with uh, Record Status Dashboard. And let's say we want to delete Record 2. By simply highlighting Record 2, we can choose Action for Record and hit Delete Record for All Forms and Events, which would just clear all forms and events for within our record. And Delete Record. And this would lead us right to the Add Edit Records page where we can also highlight the record and choose action for the record to delete that record or form. If we want to delete a single um, form, just simply highlight the form by clicking the uh, icon or bubble that you see in your record. Let's say I wanted to delete DOS1 delete data for this form only. And notice it says this process is permanent and cannot be reversed. We can also, we'll show later in the process on how you would go about uh, recovering that data. So now what if we wanted to go and delete all records in a project? So we would go to the other functionality tab which would be located in our project setup section and click on other functionality then we can erase all data by simply clicking erase all data and erase all data if we're in a development we would see this option for all all standard users will be able to see this option but if you are in production a redcap administrator will have to delete that data for you so go ahead and uh, well, depending on your institution, you can go ahead and contact your RedCap administrator to help you out with that process. If your project is in production, uh, simply contact your RedCap administrator, mention the project name, possibly the project link, and the project ID, which is usually the uh, number after what is called PID or project ID, or PID equals this number right here. Another way to delete all records is by making a copied project and basically porting over to the copied project. So simply copy the project and under the option for also copy the following you can just not highlight the all records and responses and grab everything else that you may need when you're copying this project over. Okay, let's go ahead and say that we wanted to delete all data for a particular instrument. I'll simply go to your online designer, either going to Project Sub or Project Home, and your online designer. Choose action for the instrument's data that you would want to go ahead and delete. So go ahead and choose action. If I wanted to delete, visit Blood Workup. And simply go ahead and delete. Another option to delete all data would be to move the project into production. So let's just say our project is in development right now. 
go to the bottom and we can move the project to production status and for more on that check out our art of the topic on making production changes and whatnot but let's go ahead and move our project to production and go through this and agree you can just simply say delete all data calendar events documents uploaded for records and responses survey responses and any logging events pertaining to data collection simply click that and select that option and say yes move to production status that would go ahead and delete all data and logging events pertaining to data collection so another way to not really delete records but to overwrite data is by going to data the import tool to overwrite the data so simply go to your data import tool under applications so basically you would want to download the import template uh, depending on your preference if you want records in the rows or records in columns and when you go back to upload your file you can select the option of yes blank values in the file will overwrite existing values as a way to overwrite data within a record. Now that we're back in our project setup area, we can go ahead and delete all data from an event by going to define my events and simply clicking X on the event that we want to delete along with the data that it houses. and simply click OK to delete the event along with its data. So another way you can go ahead and delete data is by changing your variable name uh, when you're designing your project. Uh, this, tip, this might happen when you are in uh, development mode and you go ahead and edit your field and for say example you change the variable name so let's just go ahead and take a look at that record first let's say this is our date field for October 9th 2017 so let's go back to that same page in project setup online designer and change the date and road variable name to date and road underscore one or just change it in general and either did it on accident or did it purposely but basically going back to that record the data is gone or uh, in uh, what we would call it is the data is orphaned or in limbo uh, data is still there but it is not viewable because it is the variable name has changed. So we can get that, that data back by simply changing it back to its original name along with its uh, proper format and whatnot. But let's just go back to that project setup page. Go back to the online designer. Go back to demographics. And we can change that back to date and road. And you can see the record or the um, field is populated back in that same section. So this can also be avoided if you move your, move your project to production and it will give you any warnings for changing a variable name while your project is in that status. So that's also a good check. So what if you did not want the data or records to uh, be deleted or you've accidentally deleted your data or they w went missing or you pretty much blown up your project. So if, if you've accidentally deleted data, you can always check the logging section and 
try to retrace your steps in re-entering that data. Again, the logging can be found in your user rights section. under other privileges. Basically you can export the logging to see all data that has been entered thus far. But if for example you did not have the log intact, such uh, some some way that would happen would be because you deleted or accidentally erased all your data by going through any of those steps that we've been through uh, deleting all data fields and the logs. Uh, you can always uh, contact, well, depending on your institute, you can contact your REDCap administrator to, uh, sometimes they may be able to help uh, restore that data for you, or you can also contact your REDCap administrator for any assistance in recovering any lost data. And that pretty much covers it for our REDCap topic on deleting records and data along with how to recover data for a REDCap project. For any questions, feel free to ping us at redcap at vcu.edu, or if you want to view the guide in text form on this topic and many more, feel free to see our research portal at pic.cctr.vcu.edu. Link is also in the description below. Have a good day.